So we're going to go to our first question um, that comes from Joseph. Joseph, uh, that Joseph asks, um, I was in a wreck a few weeks ago and I feel like an insurance company is giving me the runaround. I don't think they are offering me enough money for my accident. Is there anything I can do? All right, so chime in um, your advice for Joseph. You wanna start Rocky? Sure, Joseph, what I would tell you if you're in my office is, I mean, your first step is coming to see a lawyer, whether it's me or another personal injury attorney in the, in the area. And, and you know, you feel like they're giving you the runaround and there's a good chance that they are because one of the main tactics of a lot of insurance companies is to delay, delay, delay. And they've been doing it for a long time. And it's why these insurance companies make so much money. But specific to your question and your problem, the insurance company is usually not going to settle your case unless you're done treating. They're usually not going to settle your case until you get all your medical records and medical bills and send them uh, in a packet uh, to the insurance company called Demand Packet. We'll put everything together at our firm with the acts, report, photographs, witness statements, things like that. And then we'll send it over to the insurance company and say, well, we'll settle for X. And they'll usually come back and say, well, we won't pay that, but we might pay this. And then the negotiation process starts. And that's where it can take a little time to go back and forth. Uh, sometimes we get the cases resolved without a lawsuit. That's good. That's good. And it's quicker for the client. But what happens a lot of times and what I'm seeing more and more and more, especially since COVID has hit, is these insurance companies are digging in and they're trying to save even more money. And they are taking a much harder line on these cases than they did before COVID. And that's when my clients, who most of them are not the suing type, have come to me and said, I, you know, we don't have a choice or I recommend that we file suit because we have no other alternative than to file a, a, a lawsuit here in Hines County or wherever the case is situated to try and get a just result. Because otherwise you're stuck taking pennies on the dollar when you probably have broken bones, uh, injuries that will last a lifetime, you can't work, you can't eat, and you are left with no other choice simply because an insurance company is trying to save money. Not because they don't want to pay, not because they don't know the value of your ca uh, case. Trust me, they know. They've done thousands of them. It's because everyone that comes in is another chance for them to save money. And if they paid 100000 on a case just like yours a year ago, guess what? They're going to start at $40,000 this time on the new case and go to fifty, and maybe go to sixty-five, and see if they can save money. If they can save $30,000 times 10,000 or 100,000 cases, that's a lot of money they've saved. Now, you just answered my question because I, I was going to ask you to elaborate, you know, the advantage of, of the insurance companies when you're talking about, you know, since uh, COVID, them digging a little deeper into cases. So it's all about just saving some money along the way. Well, you also got to take this into account to make it some of these big insurance companies are, are worth billions of dollars. And if they can hold money for 30 days or 60 days longer than necessary, if they can delay just a few months, that's millions or hundreds of millions in interest that they have gained on that money just by simply not paying when they should. Harry, are you seeing changes also um, in the legal system because of the uh, coronavirus? Oh, absolutely. You know, they'll take any advantage they can get. Um, with respect to Joseph's question, you know, I would advise them not to rush and that maybe waiting is not a bad thing simply because as Rocky has stated, um, once you sign that release and you say, well, I want to get my case over with, let's say you had some persistent problems. Um, once you sign the release, your case is over. So, you know, two weeks, two months, two years, uh, if you rush the case, you also could be doing yourself a disservice um, because you didn't let the injuries and treatment play out to get the full value of your case. But certainly the insurance companies, um, you know, they know what they're doing. Um, they're in a better bargaining position when they deal with someone without a lawyer. And certainly I would say to Joseph, anybody else in Joseph's position, at least go talk to a lawyer. You'll get some, some good legal advice and, and don't rush your case. 